Do you like trying different weekly layouts for your weekly spread? In this video, I'm going to introduce four new weekly layouts that I made. I hope you will like it. Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Elaine. Here is a new free weekly agenda printable that I made for you this month. Please check out the link in the description below. If you want to watch my other videos showing my setup for the other pages in my April journal, including my April cover page, calendar, and the goal setting pages, please check out my previous videos. I will put the links down in the description. This month, I'm using my TenderFlow Think Journal Kit printable, which is a new item in my shop. There are five pages in this TenderFlow Thing printable. Each page includes different elements, such as a whole page of court designs, weekday stickers, notepads, headers for the titles, cute tags, floral design elements, and the pattern papers for your background designs. I like printing these printables on sticker paper so that it will be much easier to stick onto my pages. I put a link for the sticker paper I used in the description if you'd like to check it out. First, I'm making my first weekly layout. I like this layout since it looks very fun and has a special shape for the boxes for the days of the week. It has a very dramatic feeling. Also, the two big sections in the two corners are very easy to decorate. Recently, my sweet daughter gave me eight gifts for my birthday. And one of them is this adorable vacuum. My daughter probably knows that her mom loves to draw things and uh, need to erase very often. So she gave me this cute portable ladybug mini desktop vacuum to help keep my table clean. It is very convenient to clean up my mess using this desk dust cleaner. I'm so thankful to her for buying me these. I will put the link down below if you'd like to check it out too. Now I'm using mulberry papers and some pictures from my TenderFlow printable that I made to look like tags to decorate my pages. Here I'm tying some white ribbons to the tags to make them look more interesting. If you like this video, please show some love to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also, please click on the notification bell so you can get notified when I come out with the new video. I'm really thankful for your support and the encouragement to my channel and my videos. It means the world to me. Then I'm using my days of the week printable to place the weekdays on the page. This days of the week printable is also available in my shop. I list it for only 99 cents because I really want you guys to enjoy using it. So make sure to check it out. I'm drawing some drop shadows on each box to make them pop. and then placing the April sticker on the top of the page. Here is my second weekly spread. I'm using a mug to trace a circle for the centerpiece. Now I'm cutting the circle out. And drawing some lines to divide the page into eight sections. Putting on the background papers.
then placing a decorative sticker in the center. Add in the April title sticker. Then cutting the weekday stickers from the printable and placing them in each box. Drawing some decorative broken lines around the circle. And finally, drawing some pink drop shadows in to add some colors to the page. Creating my third weekly spread. I made six notepad style boxes in this printable, so I'm using them for each day of the week, but putting the weekends in the same box. Here, I'm sticking a white textured mulberry paper onto the page. On top of it, I'm placing a decorative quote paper. You can see that I printed this quote from my printable on vellum paper so that the mulberry paper texture underneath can show through. Then I'm decorating the pages with some mulberry paper. Then making one mini tracker chart to reinforce some good habits this week. Then adding a flower sticker and the weekday stickers. Join some wiggly lines around the boxes. Then I'm using some small heart and the star shaped stems with pink and the purple inks to decorate the empty space around the quilt. And finally, drawing some small dots to finish the look. I think that it looks like a very fun page. Please leave your thoughts of this page in the comments below to let me know if you like this kind of decorative style. Lastly is my fourth weekly spread. This is only a one page weekly because I want to leave space for a page with just decoration. Here I'm using a background pattern paper to decorate the page. Then sticking a quote on top of it. Then cutting the weekday stickers out, sticking them onto the page. And finally, drawing a black circle for the days and writing the numbers on top with a white gel pen.
This is a simple but elegant page. What do you think? This is the final flip through for my whole April bullet journal spread. I really like this month's color palette. Since pink, purple, and blue look very dramatic, it's very nice to match them along with the white and the gray color design elements. Please check out my previous videos if you'd like to see the setup for the other parts of my journal for this month. Also, don't forget to download this free weekly agenda printable. Please check out my shop for this tender flow thing printable if you'd like. I hope you will enjoy using it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.